Discover the latest buzz in motorsport as we look into the exciting prospects of Shane Van Gisbergen's next move in NASCAR. Surprising rumors and strong rivalries have the potential to change the racing landscape. You won't believe what Denny Hamlin has to say about this young star's potential with his new team. Buckle up and join us on NASCAR Zone as we examine SVG's intriguing journey in NASCAR. But before we dive into that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Shane Van Gisbergen, the talented supercars driver, has expressed his intentions to make a significant move in his racing career by joining NASCAR for the upcoming season. However, as of now, he has not finalized a drive in the American series. Ever since his impressive NASCAR debut and subsequent victory at the beginning of this month, there has been intense speculation surrounding his future. The three-time Supercars champion openly admitted his desire to race full-time in the NASCAR series, stating that he would love to come over here and compete. Despite having a contract with Triple Eight that should keep him with the team until at least the end of the next year, team principal Jamie Wincup has made it clear that he wouldn't stand in the way of Van Gisbergen's dream to switch to NASCAR if that's what his heart is set on. This understanding from the team management indicates a supportive environment for the driver. Now, Van Gisbergen has officially confirmed that his preference is indeed to leave the Supercar Series at the end of the current season and make the transition to America's most watched racing category, NASCAR. He expressed a clear intention to up stumps after the campaign. However, the decision to leave is not without conditions. Van Gisbergen has stressed that his departure is dependent on Triple Eight securing a competitive replacement for him. It's important for him to ensure that the team will be in good hands and maintain its performance after his departure. Despite his eagerness to take on new challenges in NASCAR, he emphasized that his decision to leave is not driven by any dissatisfaction with the current team. On the contrary, he has a deep affection for the Triple Eight team and holds it in high regard. Shane Van Gisbergen is determined to ensure a smooth transition for his team, Triple Eight, when he leaves to pursue his potential opportunity in NASCAR. Although a soft deadline of 13th August has been set by team principal Jamie Wincup, coinciding with Van Gisbergen's next NASCAR cameo at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course, the Kiwi driver is not imposing a strict timeline on himself to make a decision about his future. He understands that there are ongoing discussions and complexities behind the scenes, making it uncertain whether a full-time NASCAR drive will be feasible. Despite Van Gisbergen's potential departure, the team remains fully supportive of his ambitions. Team manager Mark Dutton made it clear that they see Shane as a valued teammate, and while they would love to have him stay, they wouldn't resort to any guilt-tripping or efforts to stop him from pursuing this exciting next step in his career. They recognize that this opportunity is exceptional, and regardless of the outcome, they will offer their complete support. Amidst speculation about a potential vacancy at Triple Eight, there have been links suggesting Cam Waters as a possible replacement. However, Tickford boss Tim Edwards has indicated that Waters is under an option for the 2024 season. Despite Shane Van Gisbergen's impressive track record, including two consecutive championships and being a strong contender for a fourth career title this year. He has been openly critical of supercars during its transition to the Gen 3 platform. He had previously tied his future in the sport to his satisfaction with the new car. However, in April, he clarified that his extended contract should not be interpreted as an endorsement of the new machinery, as he found it to be more suited to engineers than drivers. Van Gisbergen has also expressed dissatisfaction with supercars' pursuit of races outside of Australia and New Zealand, raising concerns about events in Singapore and the United States. During his time in Chicago ahead of his NASCAR debut, he admitted to not enjoying the sport as much and began contemplating other options and opportunities. In recent races, Van Gisbergen has faced challenges with steering problems, resulting in only two podium finishes in the last 11 rounds. However, he managed to return to the top step on Sunday in Sydney after a complete chassis change. What are your opinions on Shane Van Gisbergen's choice of team? Tell us know in the comments section below, and be sure to hit the bell button and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. Talking about other drivers' opinions, 
Hamlin has expressed curiosity about Shane Van Gisbergen's potential performance as a full-time NASCAR driver. This inquiry arose after Van Gisbergen's impressive debut victory in the Cup Series, which was also a historic first street race in NASCAR. Having limited knowledge of the New Zealander's career, Hamlin speculated whether Van Gisbergen might be more of a street circuit slash road course specialist due to his success in the street race. Next year, in, or I guess this is 2025, in 2024, we could have another star coming to the x Series and Shane Van Ginzenberg announcing that he will be moving to NASCAR mm -hmm. next season. Yeah, I mean, the rumor's been swir swirling about this quite a bit. I'm excited because I think that he's a, a great talent. Um, man, I, I don't, has he ever, I guess my question is, has he ever run an oval? Do we know? Has he ever run an oval? Travis, is gonna, he's quickly grabbed his phone to check it, uh, to see. I feel like that would has. be something that'd be noted in a bullet point on all these articles announcing that he's coming to race, and it has not been. So. It's exciting because he went out, he won his very first race, right. and like it's like, holy cow, this is amazing, right? I guess I need to know more about, I need to find out more about him, for sure. Like, what makes him a great race car driver in those supercars. He's obviously a great race car driver, period, because he came over here and, and won in NASCAR in his first start. But it's like, I know everyone as a race car driver has their identity, right? For a long time, it was Denny, it was short tracks. And then it kind of moved to super speedways. And, you know, everyone just kind of has somewhat of an identity of what they're really specialized at or what they're, you know, AJ Allmendinger, he's a road course guy, right? What about Shane is great? Is he a exceptional street racer uh he has uh some um dirt racing yeah. ovals experience sprint cars, sprint oh, cars. Yeah. awesome i mean i'm guessing he's won quite a bit I he mean, better he's gonna be a proponent for uh, bristol dirt to stay then i guess <laughs> no doubt don't do that nascar please don't do it <laughs> but okay so he's got some oval asphalt oval dirt ovals very very different but i guess maybe a team what they say is that Man, if he can go out and he can win, he can get us in the playoffs. This is my ticket to the playoffs is to go hire this guy. I think we'll know more after the Indy road course race. Van Gisbergen's achievements demonstrate his versatility as a driver. He is not only a two-time Bathurst 1000 winner, but has also won the Bathurst 12 hour in a GT3 and achieved a podium finish in the Dote C2 category in his sole World Rally Championship start to date. Moreover, he has dabbled in speedway racing, claiming his first sprint car feature win in January at Palmerston North. Hamlin also recognized that Van Gisbergen's skill set enabled him to excel in the trickiest section of the Chicago street circuit during his NASCAR debut. At Chicago, I, it's, it's really hard for me to explain, but he was so much faster than the field in the, in the tight street area, right there kind of on, is that Michigan? that we were on that Michigan Avenue. He was so fast in that section. He was, he was very good everywhere else, but he was exceptional in the McCall. We'll yeah. Over the bridge. Yeah. The half circle. Yes. Yeah. There. And then just kind of in that slow check section and uh, turn 11. He was very, very fast, but that's what the supercars they're so used to on racing on a street, having these walls right next to us, you know, wearing cup. We're, we can't see and whatnot, and it's just, we're not used to it. So I think we'll know a lot more about what is this guy's ceiling when we get to the Indy road course, because you're going then to a track where all the cup drivers, we've got some experience. We're not going to be as far off. We're going to be more comfortable with what we've got. And so does he have that advantage over the field at Indy road course? I don't think so. I, I, don't, I don't think so. That doesn't mean he won't contend for a win and be up front. It just won't be as easy as what it was, at, uh, certainly at, at Chicago. Yeah. With both the championship and the team title still up for grabs, the rest of the season promises to be thrilling as drivers and teams battle it out on the track to secure their positions and potentially claim victory in the ongoing debate over parity in the Supercar Series. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.